Lila here again. So we're almost ready for our launching of the website. Again, www.rippedtraining.com. Don't forget to come check me out. So today I have a little bit of a sequence that you can do anywhere. It's called a plyometric sequence, so we're just using our body. We don't use any weights or any different um, tools to actually do this combination. Just our body. That's all you need. Your body and a little bit of space somewhere. So you can take it anywhere. If you don't have time to go work out at the gym, again, this is a perfect combination. So it's going to start off with 50 jumping jacks. Open and close the legs and the arms nice and wide, not lazy jumping jacks. As soon as you're done with those 50 jumping jacks, getting the heart rate up, you're going to sit right into a squat, right? Butt back, knees over the ankles, arms up in front of you, sitting a little bit deeper each time. You're going to hold that for one minute, squeezing those legs together. One minute, butt low. Incorporating the core too, lifting up through the belly. As soon as that one minute is up, you're going to go straight into jumping squats, engaging those legs even deeper. So you're going to jump up and down. Landing nice and softly, bending the knees in that squat. 20 of these, 20 jumping squats. As soon as those jumping squats are over, you go straight into a top of a push-up, into a plank. Engaging the core still, and now getting our arms ready for the next exercise. So you hold here for one minute. Good, one minute plank. As soon as that one minute is up, you're going to do 15 push-ups. Now, if you need to come to your knees to do proper push-ups, that's perfectly okay. If not, up into a plank, 15 beautiful straight back push-ups. Up, down, up, down, up, down, 15. As soon as those are over, you jump right back in to the squat and hold again one minute and then 20 squat jumps 20 squat jumps beautiful squat jumps and then right back in holding plank one minute again and then 15 push-ups as soon as those push-ups are over you're gonna sit on your butt legs crossed off the floor arms up in a triangle or a diamond and you're holding your belly in one minute hold good as soon as the one minute is over you're going to open and close or open the legs up and the body's going to go back as well so your body's opening and closing engaging the entire core not just one little specific spot but the entire belly 40, just like this, and then hold one minute after 40, and then after that minute, 40 again, really burning it out, and then as soon as those 40 are over, you stand up, and you do that sequence again, so 50 jumping jacks, hold squat, 20 squat jumps, Hold plank, one minute, 15 push-ups, jump up, squat, one minute, Fifth, 20 squat jumps, and then hold plank again, 15 push-ups, and then to the belly, hold one minute, 40 up and back, and then hold a minute, and then 40 up and back. And that's the second sequence. So, you can do two, which should take 10 to 15 minutes, or you can do it three times, which should take 15 to 20, or you can do it four times, which should take you about 30. And there's your workout for the day. Engaging all the body, body muscles and getting a nice sweat in a maximum of 30 minutes. So, it's crazy what I can do with your body in a short amount of time. So our launch date is coming up. Come check me out 
at www.rippedtraining.com. My name is Lila, and I look forward to seeing you and getting that body nice and ripped and ready for summer. Thanks again.